Assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to talk about why do Muslims celebrate Eid al Azha. Eid al Azha, also called Eid al Qurba or Bakrayid, is the second of two Islamic festivals celebrated worldwide each year. It honors the willingness of Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, to sacrifice his son Ismail, peace be upon him as an act of obedience to God's command. An Islamic lunar calendar, Eid al-Azha, falls on 10th day of Zul Hijjah and lasts for four days. The word Eid means celebration, feast day. Its root meaning is to repeat, to be experienced. And the word Azha means sacrifice, offering or oblation. The purpose of offering Qurbani is to draw near to Allah. Through Qurbani, we reform what we sometimes forget in the hussy bustle of everyday life. An important part of Qurbani is remembering to hold on to our sincere intentions and striving to be closer to Allah. Allah tells us in the Quran, the story of two sons of Prophet Adam, Habil and Qabil. To resolve a difference between them, Adam asked them both to make sacrifices. Whoever sacrifice was accepted would be the clear winner. It is understood that Habil took care to select the best animal, one which was healthy and well fed, whereas Qabil wasn't willing to offer the best of his produce. Allah accepted Habil's sacrifice and he rejected Qabil's sacrifice. Habil explained to his brother that Allah only accepts from those who have taqwa. Qabil had clearly not made his sacrifice with sincerity and Allah was aware of that. So, the story of Habil and Qabil illustrate that Sincerity and purity of intention are the most important part of the Qurbani. Qurbani is not an annual task or tax that we should tick off to-do list. It is a deep spiritual activity and a chance to draw closer to Allah. The sacrifice of Ibrahim salam, one of the main trials of Prophet Ibrahim's life, was to face the command of God by sacrificing his beloved son as stated in the Quran Surah number 37 verse number 102 that qala ya bunayya inni ara fil manami anni azbahuka fanzur maza tara qala ya abati fal tu'mar satajiduni inshallah min as-sabirin falamma aslama wa qallahu lil jabeel wa nadaynahu an ya ibrahim the meaning is, O oh son, I keep dreaming that I am slaughtering you. Ismail replied, O oh father, do as you are commanded. If Allah wills, you shall find me of the patient. Prophet Ibrahim prepared to submit to the will of God and prepared to slaughter his son as an act of faith and obedience to God. Acknowledging that Prophet Ibrahim was willing to sacrifice what is dear to him, God the Almighty honored both Ibrahim and Ismail. It was said, O Ibrahim, you have fulfilled revelations and a lamb from heaven was offered to Prophet Ibrahim to slaughter instead of Ismail. Muslims worldwide celebrate Eid al-Azha to commemorate both the devotion of Ibrahim and the survival of Ismail. The purpose of sacrifice in Eid al-Azha is not about shedding of blood just to satisfy Allah. It is mentioned 
in Quran Surah 22 verse 37 lay yanar Allah luhumuha wala dimauha walaki yanar luhu taqwa minkum the meaning is the meat will not reach to Allah nor will the blood but what reaches him is the devotion of devotees it is about sacrificing something devotees love the most to show their devotion to Allah. It is obligatory to share the meat of this sacrificed animal in three equivalent parts. Number one for family, number two for relatives and friends and number three for poor and needy people. The celebration has a clear image of devotion, kindness and equality. The sacrifice on Eid al-Azha must not dwindle into a festival of blood and meat eating. It is the spirit of sacrifice and the memory of Ibrahim's self-surrender that ought to shine through rituals as it is carried out. All of us must remember and say that Inna salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alameen la sharika lahu wa bidhalika umirtu wa ana awwalul muslimin Verily, my sacrifice, my worship, my living and my dying are all for Allah, Lord of the worlds. O Allah, this sacrifice is from you and is for you. May Allah guide us towards the right path. Ameen. Thank you.